let us do a brief overview of how to use MetaTrader 4. Now, this one is an iPhone example, but it's not much different with the Android. Okay, again, this one is an iPhone example, but it's not much different from an Android. So as you can see here, right, we have the quotes on the left side. You have the charts in the middle. You have the trade if you if you are in the trade, and I'll show you guys how it works. You have a history, all right? So whatever this you have, and then the settings is where you can do multiple things. So right now I have a demo account showing an example, all right? So for those of you that don't know how to create a demo account or add in a new account, or right, this is what you got to do. You either click on the top, it says new account, all right? And then you choose open a demo account or log into an existing account, okay? So again, open a demo account or log into an existing account. So if you already have a broker already, okay? If you have that already, all you do is just click in, click the login, which is second option. And then you type in whatever the broker is, you know, in this in, in this case, I use Trader's Way as an example. We could have Hugo's Way, we have Prosperity, we have so many different um, brokers, right? Whatever broker you use, right? I'm using this as an example. I'm not telling you to use this broker. It's just as an example. This is one of the brokers that I used when I first came into, into trading. I do not use it no more um, for many reasons, right? So let's say, for example, you, you have a you know, Trader's Way demo. What you do is you put in your login, you put in your password if you got it from the website. Now, if you don't and you just want to, you know, just create one, you just go to, again, you go to new account, open a demo account, all right, and just type in whatever it is. So in this case, I'll, put, I'll type in Trader's Way, even though it's there already, and it should come up, all right? So in this case, there's, I see ICM Trader. Uh, let, let me choose that. I'm just choose a random one or Soggy Trader. So let's do ICM Trader. I click it. Right, and then it's gonna ask you for your name, your number, your email. Right, again, this is a fake um, number. Email is fake as well. All right, so don't don't try to scam. <laughs> so it's two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Mike Jones is on the. <laughs> Some of you guys will get it. Okay, and then where you deposit. Okay, so where you deposit, um, you know you could go as as low as three thousand. You know the leverage. I always like to have. You know, the highest leverage with this with this broker it only has one to one hundred right this is why you gotta um you know choose choose a broker correctly so for example if, if i choose traders way right my leverage is a bit more right so it's one to one thousand right that means that i can make my money faster i can lose money faster as well so the higher the leverage um the faster you can make it the faster you can also lose it the lower the leverage the faster the slower you can lose it and on uh, the slower you can make it okay so and, and and it also protects you from doing some crazy stuff all right so account type of course um uh, we always pick ecn in this case it says ecn in the middle twe ecn uh, for most people pick ecn but depending um if um you know if you're muslim you know muslims use a certain um, one as well okay so and certain brokers but this is for most people all right so this is so then you go to uh, let's say um okay so now i have my broker there so quotes is where you want to be at most of the time right so in this case some brokers have an eye behind it and some brokers don't so for example if i go to if i choose a broker without so let's just to let's just do um let's see prosperity All right it's another broker so demo and then i just create you know three thousand um leverage is see you see how every broker is different all right and then um okay we're good to go register bam okay so you see how this broker the quotes it doesn't have i some brokers have i some brokers don't okay so this is what you want to do if you have an iphone right i believe android um has it already you have the simple simple way simple view and you have i um the advanced view okay so the spreads are right underneath. So where you see AUD USD, right? You're gonna see the spread right now. It's moving 13, 12, 9, 10, right? Um, and NZD USD spread is 10. USD CAD is 12. USD CHF is 12, right? So that's where the spread is, right? So you want to look for brokers that have like lower spreads than this, because this is not good spreads um, for um, for this right now. Because right now we're in the um, 
at the time that I'm doing this, this, this is New York session. So I, I can see the spread should be around six, seven, three and stuff, but it's, it's a bit high. Okay. So now if you see a, a trade or if you see a pair that, um, or if you're trying to trade and you don't see a pair, right, what you want to do is you want to click the plus button at the very top. On the Android, it'd be similar as well. So when you are at quotes, cool, look for the plus button to be able to add any any pair that you have, any pair that you want to do. Now, certain brokers trade certain pairs, right? Certain brokers don't trade certain pairs. For example, this broker looks like a trade everything, right? Trade crypto, metals, um, shares, um, exotics, forex crosses, you know, it, it trade different things. Uh, futures, right? So, for example, if I click futures, I can add it, right? Add the pair. So, any pair that you add, it will go directly to the bottom, right? To the very bottom. If I want to add another pair, let's say I want to do euro jpy right i type it in euro jpy click plus right click uh, there we go click plus it's, again it's going to be at the very bottom okay so anytime you want to add a pair you click the plus button and you go all the way um you just type in the search bar and you go ahead and you i don't know gbp aud it's just random right click back click back and it will be at the very at the very bottom right so to, to put in a trade all you do is just click click it you click trade right and then you put in a lot size so remember depending on the different type of um account that you have so for every hundred dollars is 0 0.01 all right if you have 200 dollars 0 0.02 if you have 300 dollars 0 0.03 if you have a thousand bucks or five hundred dollars zero point zero five. If you have seven hundred dollars, seven hundred pounds, seven hundred euros, seven hundred cities, whatever it may be, zero point zero seven. All right, or well, not cities. And then if you have a thousand bucks, it's zero point one zero. Okay. If you have ten thousand dollars, it's one point zero zero. Right. If you have five thousand dollars, it's zero point five zero. Okay. So if you have um three thousand dollars, it's zero point three zero. All right. Or point three zero. Okay. And etc. All right. So, um, of course, that is taught. Okay. So you want to make sure that you put in the right, the proper lot size. So in this case, I think that I, I I'm not sure what the count is. What's the count? Three thousand. So that means that I'm gonna put. If if I am going into a trade, I'm gonna put zero point three zero as my highest lot size. Okay. So zero point three zero, and I'm looking for a sell. I'm just gonna sell now. Before you put in a trade, right? Make sure you put in a stop loss and a take profit. Right. So in this case, I'm, I'm just gonna put a random. Random stop loss, all right? And then take profit. I'm going to put this, and then I'm going to sell, all right? So lot size, everything. Go ahead, and you sell, okay? Very, very simple. So remember that every time you enter a trade, you're always going to see a negative. Again, every time you enter a trade, you're always going to see a negative. The reason why is because of the spreads, right? So right now, it's at 13, 12 and 13. So 13 times 30, Okay. 13 times 30. So if, if I use a calculator, you, you see that that's what this is, right? 13 times 30. What was that going to be? All right. Oh, 0.30. Sorry. So $13 times 0.30. All right. So again, $13 times 0.30. That's why we see the negative. I mean, 13 spreads times 0.30. And then we see that. Okay. Now, for those of you that want to see how to partially close, okay? This is a brief overview. How to partially close. What you want to do is that you want to swipe to the left, okay? A partial clo closing is you want to swipe to the left, and you want to click the close, right, which is a checkbox. So you act like you're closing, all right? There's many ways to close. You close, I can close in. And let's say, for example, that you're you're winning this trade, right? Right now, I'm winning by 60 cents, all right? What I want to do is partially close is just change this to maybe 15 cents. It says that, hey, I'm... I'm uh, I'm going to close with negative, whatever my, my close profit is, right? Loss or profit, I'm going to close at the bottom with the loss or the profit. And guess what it's going to do? It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to continue um, trading with the other 15, right? So I have 30. Right now, I have 15. So I closed. I go to history. I'm going to see the trade, okay? I'm going to see that I closed with 15 cents, right? And that's the money that I made or lost, whatever it may be. At, at a particular point on uh, that time, that point, okay? Then now I'm trading more. So this is when we say close with partial profits. You want to act like, again, you want to act like you're closing the trade and you change the lot size to something lower. You can never go up. You can always go lower. So I said 10. That means that I'm going to close with 70 cents um, profit and I'm closing with five left. Does that make sense? All right, so look. 
All right, so that's partial profit. Now, if you want to move stop loss to entry, you can see here that if you look at AUD USD, okay. So look at the look at the pair. It says AUD USD. It says sell zero point zero five. All right. Now where I entered the market is right at the bottom. So it's zero point six four five two three. The current market is at zero point six four five thirty. All right. So again, where I entered is the first six numbers. So 0 0.64523 is where I entered. All right, again, 0 0.64 is where I entered. So if you want to move stop loss to break even or stop loss to entry, what you want to do is you want to click this, right, and click modify. All right, you click, click uh, you hold it. So what I did is I held it. And Android might be a bit different and click modify. All right, so when I click modify, my number was my entry, 64523. All right, so 64523. So remember that. So now I'm going to move my stop loss. Actually, let me show you guys how that looks like on the chart. All right, so look, you guys you guys are going to see my stop loss. Uh, it's too, okay. So my stop loss is right there. It's a, it's a red line at the very top. You guys see it, right? So stop loss, uh, my sell. Okay, stop loss at the top. So now I want to move my stop loss to entry because let's say I'm in profit. Okay, let's just say we're in profit. So what you want to do then, you want to click this. Hold it, modify, and move your stop loss to change it to, what was it? Oh, I've got a number. 64523. 64523. Okay. 64523. That's where I entered, right? So right now, the market is actually there. So, bam. I modify it. The market is, is, is at it right now. So, I modify it, right? Stop loss, all right? It's going to take me out to trade really soon. So, now, now my stop loss is different, right? You can see it. My stop loss is at 640C. So it, it took me out the trade automatically because it hit my break even, all right? It hit the place that I wanted it to. You know, if it gets there, it's, it's going to take me out the trade. So in this case, break even, right? I See, I didn't make no money. I didn't lose no money. You guys see, right? So that's where I entered. So break even is where you want to protect yourself. If, if you're a profit, if, if there's news coming, you want to move your stop loss to break even. If I say, hey, move your stop loss to break even, you move it to where you enter the market, which was... Um, so so see so, so um so you guys see right here right so i entered at six four five two three i exited at six four five two three making no money losing no money does that make sense all right so this is a, a bit a brief overview now if you want to change the settings like how the chart look like right you want to go to charts and then you want to you mess with this all right they have different colors if you want to you know um for example if you want to see the bars green and etc or right, i'll probably send a screenshot as well for you guys off on how i have mine uh, but everyone is different so this is a brief overview i'm gonna do an mt5 as well right so this is an mt4 a quick overview of mt4 um hope that if you have questions go ahead and ask me and then uh we'll definitely get this so again quotes is where you look for your pairs okay simple looks like this all right advanced look like this charts is where you can you know chart mark up your charts and see what's going on Trades is where, where you, if you have an active trade history, it's where you go. You can do daily, weekly, right? You can do monthly. Um, you can do custom, right? Like from from one date to another date. And then, of course, in the settings, there's not much that we do here, um, honestly, family. But, um, again, you can get your new account, a login to existing uh, account or a demo account. And this is a brief overview of um, using MediTrader 4. I'm going to use MediTrader 5. And I'll, I'll get you guys... Going. God bless you. Like I was Mr. Danko signing out.